So any sort of equation, whether it's speed, distance, time, or whether it's something else, write down what you know first of all, and then you can figure out what you're trying to find out and select the correct equation from there. So question four, if we look at that first, let's look at the ferry that's travelling at 50 kilometres per hour. So the speed is 50 kilometres per hour. The distance travelled from London to Paris is 360 kilometres. Three hundred and sixty kilometers. Time? We don't know. So at this point, you would look at uh, your data booklet, and you would get the right equation from there. So you would see that distance equals speed times time. So if you're using equation triangles, remember that the the quantity that's on the left hand side here goes on the top of the equation triangle. So you can draw out your equation triangle like that, and that will help you to figure out what the right equation to use is. You're looking for t here. So this is the point where you would cover up the t, and that would leave you with d divided by v. Similarly, if you were looking for v, you would cover up the v, and then you would get d divided by t. So t is d divided by v. But if in doubt, if you're not sure how to tackle this question, always write this equation down first of all. Always write down the equation that is in the data booklet, because you'll get half a mark for that straight away. So distance divided by speed. Now I'm not going to bother converting this. Normally, obviously, we would convert from kilometers to meters, because remember, all distances in physics are in meters, and all time is in seconds. But these are both in uh, kilometers, and well, kilometers per hour. So I'm just going to leave them and give my answer in hours, instead of converting into seconds, because I'm going to end up with a really big number. So distance is 360 divided by 50 will give you 7.2 hours. Sorry? You could convert that to minutes if you wanted to. Um, normally it would say you know, whether they wanted to give your answer in, in hours or, or in minutes. You know, it would say give your answer in hours and minutes. So 7.2 hours, I won't bother converting that through, but that's how to tackle these types of questions. This is your first section where you write down what you know. Here is where you put in your equation from the data booklet. Remember, if you are using an equation triangle, that value on the left-hand side there goes on the top of your equation triangle. Then you can choose which value you want to use. So t is d divided by v. Then it's just a straight plug-in of the numbers from here. And then give your answer and always give your units. So half a mark for the equation, half a mark for correct substitution, and one mark here, one mark, half a mark for the value, half a mark for your units.